but I think I hit the boy with the whirlwind. Let's see. I think he's baiting me to come up. And now he doesn't even care. Let's go ahead and ult and take the big boy down. The All-Father. Let's go ahead and zone. Oh, let's go ahead and eat this. Nom, 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 nom. Ate that for the team. Doing the people's work. Oh, hello, Neath. Hello, Neath. Hello, Neath. Hello. Hello, how are you? <laughs> and she's down. Welcome back, Chrono Troops, to another jam packed episode filled with uh, spills and kills and good deals. We're going to get into the action with our uh, standard starter build. Chrono Kitty here playing your favorite breezy boy. Today we are not playing in a uh, pickup group. We are playing with uh, two of my uh, mothers from another brother. Uh, Kuchulane and Bordak. Um, or Kuchulane and uh, Baron Samidi. Um, Kuchulane is... Uh, my uh, good friend uh, Call of Cthulhu and uh, my other good friend uh, Bordak is uh, playing Baron Samidi. So we're playing the double mage single tank, but the Kuchu Lane is a very strong tank. He does a, uh, a lot of damage and he has uh, really good uh, defense as well. The Odin came in and was unable to do much with that. I pressured the uh, enemy player uh, that was coming from the back out a little bit. We are pl actually playing uh, a little bit different. Um, I'm playing on PC. I actually started Smite on PC and then uh, moved over to console as it became uh, the more popular and easier choice for me. And I wanted to test out crossplay a little bit. My, uh, my friends are playing on console and I am on PC. The enemy team is a Odin, and a Neath, and Discordia. A really uh, good standard team composition. So that's what we'll be facing, that kind of that difficult steam composite... Steam? Steam. Steam composition. <laughs> <clears throat> One of the things the uh, enemy team has that we don't have is a hunter so they should be better at taking down objectives than we are unless we deicide them then we should be able to take down their objectives their discordia is so low super low and we have uh, call Cthulhu uh, going in for the uh, early tower dive ooh Odin Doing, doing some real damages. One of the nice things we have, oh, he saw me and he came in. And that's going to be uh, probably a kill on our boy because his escape is down because he used it to get into the fight. Let's go ahead and uh, put our uh, level 5 into another whirlwind. Which will help us zone, take wave, and complete. Let's go ahead and give this uh, to uh, our boy, Mr. Uh, Healing Death Man. He has some really good heals. Let's see if we can get the Whirlwind off of And we can. We're not doing a whole lot of damage to the enemy team yet because it's still early game. Oh, oh. Ooh, oh dear. Call Cthulhu so low, so low. And the enemy team got him with the stun and kept him from entering tower. You're not, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, he was baiting me. I thought I was baiting him. Oh, and looks like we are going to do some damages right here. Oh, I'm so low. I'm so low. I'm I'm 16, 16 uh, HP's low.
All right, let's go back and finish up uh, Shoes of Focus and head back to Lane. One of the things about playing on PC that's so different than playing on console is the fact that the controls are so different. I'm playing on a uh, a keyboard and mouse instead of a instead of a controller, which uh, I tend to prefer. It gives me a lot more uh, a lot more control. And uh, as I've also discussed in previous videos, the mouse having a, a mouse capability gives you more precise and higher speed of turning radius than a controller does. And that's an instant advantage all PC players have. Over, let's see if we can do anything there. And we got the kill on the Odin. And Bordek got the kill on the Neath. And let's see if we can help zone Discordia so we can get our boy back home safe and sound. And had I hit her with that. Zephyr, she'd be uh, a dead Discordia, but I missed it. Let's go ahead and uh, give some heals for the team. Can I do anything there? Oh! <laughs> Odin thought he had plays. Let's go ahead and if he's gonna work, yep, he, if he's gonna come my way, he's gonna have to take a whirlwind. Right, boys? That's right. Enemy team is so low, so low. Can we make anything happen right here? Boop! Yes, we can! <laughs> Through the wall kills! I just think there was just so much going on at the screen right there that Neath did not see that coming in, or not, did not anticipate it coming in specifically. I was unable to get the Zephyr Whirlwind off because mana problems, hmm, just mana problems. <laughs> I don't have a lot of mana right now. I can help the team get away. Call of Cthulhu's down. We can zone the enemy a little bit and help Borak get back to base. Let's go ahead and grab XP camp, keep it from the enemy team while they're still pushed back, just a scooch. And now we can also go for the uh, mana camp. Oh, here comes Bouncy Jumpy Boy. Let's see if I can get away. And we got it, and nice. And Bordek was able to grab the, the mana buff. And sadly, I thought it was a foregone conclusion that our Odin, that our Odin, enemy Odin was going to go down. But apparently he was able to jump and shield away. Damage camp is up. And we have burned that down. Let's go ahead and grab some wave. We have enough to build Book of Thoth now. And looks like Cuckoo Kachu is going in. Let's see if I can do do them a sneaky. And do you a sneaky? And let's go ahead and do a sneaky. And that is gonna be a kill on the Discordia. <laughs> Sorry I did you a sneaky there. <laughs> I can typically get one sneaky off <laughs> on enemy team. It is so hard to... I need to change my controls after this game. The... Whenever I put down a... Whenever I move my cursor forward and back to uh, change my distance, it... Um, I'm like, look at the sky or look at the ground. It's really difficult to play under those conditions. So we're going to go ahead and finish Book of Thoth and then go into our first tier penetration item. We have the damage camp. We have the mana camp. 
the kills are at 6-2. The levels are 9 or 10-9-9 to enemies 9-8-7. So already really strong start. Although enemy team comes online a little bit uh, in the uh, mid to late game, so we might see them. We might see a whole new, a whole new group of players playing us right here. I did missed my Zephyr. But I think I hit the boy with the whirlwind. Let's see. I think he's baiting me to come up. And now he doesn't even care. Let's go ahead and ult and take the big boy down. The all father. Let's go ahead and zone. Oh, let's go ahead and eat this. Nom 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 nom. Ate that for the team. Doing the people's work. Oh, hello Neath. Hello Neath. Hello Neath. Hello. Hello, how are you? <laughs> and she's down. We can do a little bit of work here. Let's go ahead and drop Whirlwind. Although Odin's probably going to jump over it. Yes, and he jumped over it. But we took Wave. Ooh. He's coming right at me. That That's, that's, that's such an angry Odin. Let's go ahead and drop a Whirlwind on his head. Boop. And he jumped into the whirlwind again. Weirdo. Don't do not do that. Oh, ooh, can I do something? Right here, right here. Did I time that right? Oh, I missed it by this much. Let's go ahead and grab or start prepping for damage camp. And we should get this easily, yeah. And it is down. Enemy Neath and Discordia just kind of sitting right there. Oh, and now now it's all three of them. They are catching up in levels. The levels right now are 11, 10, 10 myself and 10, 9, 8 Discordia. Cuckoo Kachoo has been in the right looking to gank me. He's waiting to gank me. He's coming in. He's decided to instead gank Cuckoo Kachu. Let's drop a Whirlwind and keep enemy team from taking advantage of that. I'm going to go ahead and ult. A uh, little premature ult. I could have gotten a kill there. Ooh, ow, ow. Holy tomatoes. That was a lot of damage. That was a whole lot of damage. <laughs> the problem with being really having really good position is you forget that you're not getting hit so you think you could take more hits than you actually can I just got shredded right there because I didn't realize that I could and because I hadn't yet in the game so now it's kinda like you know the first snow of the year and you're driving your car and you kinda forget how to drive in the snow until you slip that first time and then you're like oh right snow and then for the rest of the season you're good so I'll be good now I won't push up like that I know I'm a an easy squish mage kill that was really precarious of me to put myself in discordia range like that let's go ahead and grab a XP camp and come around one of the things I do like about PC is it's the controls the speed is far more responsive and let's see if we can make anything happen here and too little, too late. Was unable to save anybody on my team. But we have Spear of the Magus online. What what are you doing? What what really? Oh, well, that was actually pretty good. But take a zephyr. Oh, Neath. Hi Neath. We should be able to maintain wave and keep our tower going down till our team comes back up and we can grab this as well just continuing to pressure enemy team back a little bit Bordok walked right in to that uh, that, that stun ooh ow that was a uh, a truck a source of damage our ultimate is up we have Bordic killing a Neath let's see if um, I can get Cuckoo Chew to come back to me 
and he did not pull anyone with him, sadly. He is pushed back up. We're under 300 health points. We have no health to help you out. So let's go ahead and just drop a whirlwind. We are in kill range from the Discordia, for sure. Enemy Odin is coming in hot. The man is hot. Hot-headed. Let's see if we can get... I think we got our Zephyr and our Whirlwind off on uh, the Allfather. And, oh, the boy's thirsty. He's so thirsty. Give that boy a soda pop. Boop. <laughs> or a boop. <laughs> Let's go ahead and push up lane. Enemy team has already taken down our tower. Their tower is about half life. Let's go ahead and go for mana camp again. Mana camp. Let's go ahead and go for XP camp again. And back in center lane. Enemy team, enemy team is doing everything they can to stay leveled with us. And I'm really low, really not prepared for this fight. Oh, hello. Oh, can I hide around this corner? Oh, they're all here. They see me. The jig is up. I'll go ahead and ult. And then go back to base. So, I typically um, have no problems ulting when I die, or when I'm about to die, because if it can help out the team. I prefer not to save it, because I have a cuckoo has really... Um, fast um, uh, uh, cooldowns for his for his abilities including his ultimate so I'll be getting that ultimate back and I mean it's already gonna be back in 25 seconds and I'll be up in 10 so there's no negative reason not to just drop as many abilities you as you can if you're going to die just try to drop them so they help your team don't just drop them willy-nilly unless you don't have time to look in which case then it doesn't hurt I mean maybe you'll get a kill and sometimes you actually do We'll go ahead and take Mana Camp for the team. Oh, hi, Discordia. I'm not going to go in there, but she doesn't know that. And all right, she backed off. My whole team is right behind me. Bordak looked like he's going to go back for some, uh, some heals. Oh, I'm sorry. No, he's, he's recharging his batteries. So we need to just pressure off the enemy team and back off a little bit. Ooh, we got the uh, Sanctuary off of uh, the Allfather. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and place the Whirlwind. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. That was, that was all kinds of painful. My team, well, we have Kukukachu. Let's go ahead and see if we can help him get away. Giving the heals to the team. And the Allfather has backed. And it's just Discordia and I and Baron Samidi. Let's go ahead and grab Wave. Oh, excellent placement on that. Let's go ahead and uh, swing around using the uh, jungle lane. I think I did hit her, and I'm going to see if, uh, oh, looks like uh, Cuckoo Kachu wants me to have this. Do 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 do. Um, although I can't fight, my health's too low at the moment. I need to head back and grab some health and get back in the fight. You'll notice that I also have Breastplate of Valor, which will help me against the Odin and the Neath, and give us much needed cooldown. 15 MP5 and more mana we can apply to our passive and also Book of Thoughts passive. Ow! So that was X. That was much needed. This is a rough team fight. I'm trying to pressure Discordia back. Looks like Bordic is so low, so low, the man's so low. Let's go ahead and ult Discordia. Let's drop a whirlwind so Neath cannot get away. And we hit the Odin. 
Let's go ahead and go in. Ah, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, come on, just walk in my whirlwind again. Isn't, isn't that fun? It's a whole lot of fun walking into my whirlwind. Alright, Cuckoo Kachoo is going to go after Tower while I keep uh, Odin busy, if I can keep him busy. But nope, he knows what's going on. The jig is up. He's so low. He's so low. Can we take him? Can we take him? Maybe if he walks into my whirlwind like that. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's drop a whirlwind and get out of here. I hit somebody, and it was the Odin. Nice. The, it looks like the Neath is pushing lane. And that's the Discordia pushing lane. Let's go ahead and drop a Whirlwind. Keep her from pushing that sweet wave. Oh, maybe it was both of them. The uh, levels now are 13-8. With the... I'm sorry, the kills are 13-8. And the levels are 16-14-13 myself. And 15-14-13 enemy Neath. It's hard to imagine that the, the enemy team is actually playing exceptionally well. They just don't happen to, ooh, that is precarious. Thank goodness I had a shell there. Healed myself, got a heal from the team. Let's see if I can get out of here. The Odin has a really good escape. So he's going to be jumping on me. Let's see if I can time this whirlwind well. And he's just going to jump over that whirlwind. And take me down. Cuckoo Kachu is pressuring Discordia. And Baron Samidi is now meeting up with him. Let's see, for my next item, I think I'm going to need to go with more defense. I really want to go with some more damagey items. Um, I preferably a Gem of Isolation, although right now we are just getting just under too much pressure. We are starting to just get uh, overran by the physical players on the enemy team, and I don't want to lose the game to that. So used my ult to take down wave, pressuring enemy team. Thankfully I have all this defense, so I can face tank some Neath right now. Let's go ahead and drop a whirlwind. See if we can uh, take or take a, oh we got Odin down. And Neath got me with the ultimate. So I can only do so much work. But that's okay. That those are the kills we needed. We turned our Deicide back around into a Deicide to the enemy team. Now we should be able to... They should be able to push hard. They should be able to potentially go after... Um, oh, we're gonna go ahead, they're going to go ahead and grab a Damage Camp. They should be able to uh, take... Well, they can't take Phoenix now, but they might be able to take Bull Demon. Let's see. Our next item is gonna have to be Divine Ruin Divine Ruin um, and we can start uh, prepping for getting rid of shoes by uh, grabbing Electro Speed I'm not as, I don't know if you've noticed but I'm not as fast on PC when it comes to the store as I am in console it's like I I have like I've memorized where all the items are and I'm like super speedy. I don't really have anything uh, hot popularized or hot keyed for me because I never know what I'm gonna have to build. Oh, hello. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Let's go ahead and uh, keep the enemy team out of this fight. Nice. So now let's go ahead and try to get in the other fight. I could care less about uh, Odin right now. I'm a, I'm a tanker boy. And let's go ahead and uh, zone a little bit for our for our boy. We can we can take we can take those uh, those Odin hits a little better than he can. Oh, and he had the sanctuary. That's right. 
Welcome to the Cuckoo Show. And that was a little precarious, diving like that. But if I can get them to follow me, and we got the kill on the dis on the Discordia. Did some damage to the Odin, but I was unable to finish him off. Up, oh, ult is up. And let's see if we make something happen. Boom! The big bada boom. And we cannot take this Phoenix. We do not have the health for it, and we do not have the minions. So let's go back to base. I'm thinking that the play is going to be more cooldown and more defense against the enemy team and also which will help me with more damage as well I'm thinking that's gonna be a Pridwin it's center I think it synergizes well with Cuckoo and with the items that I have picked up my team is in the left lane let's go ahead and uh, push wave up Damage camp is up. Let's go ahead and uh, grab this for the people. And by the people, nom 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 nom. I mean me. Go ahead and drop in a whirlwind and pressure in the uh, enemy team back. Ooh, when we hit Discordia with the Zephyr, and she was able to use her escape to not get hit by the whirlwind. And we have Odin in the back. I'm not sure he can do anything there. Oh, look, a nice mana camp. So Odin took down our Phoenix, looks like. So let's go ahead and zone him. He shouldn't be able to take our Titan. Let's go ahead and drop a Whirlwind around this corner so the boy cannot retreat. Oh, he's so low. He's so low. Boom. And no boom. But we can hit him with a Zephyr. And we can hit him with a Whirlwind. And he can be finished off by Cuckoo Kachu. And Cuckoo Kachu can finish off the Discordia. And we all are at decent life. Nope. Oh, Cuckoo Kachu is worried about going in. Let's go ahead and show him what a nice tanky dragon can do. Let's go ahead and jump in, grab a shield. Now we'll go ahead and take those hits and come out. Now we should be able to finish the, uh, the Phoenix. Take the Phoenix minion wave. And then now we have Neath just trying to zone, and let's go ahead and just do this. And we'll drop everything and win the game. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and all the differences uh, that this game had over uh, some of my usual games. Playing with a, uh, a familiar team uh, that I'm, uh, I enjoy playing with as well as playing on PC. If you did enjoy that, please go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. And let me know what you think of the game in the comments. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a spectacular day.